Hello guys, so today we're gonna talk about gas sweetening. Our group number is 16 and our members Kamil Fakhri, Abdullah Bakhtur and Abdullah Ahmed. So, sour gas. Sour gas uh, contains high level of H2S and CO2. So this uh, acid gases forms acid in the presence of water. When H2S reacts with water, we obtain H3O ion and HS ion. Then HS ion will continue to react with water, uh, which forms H3O ion and sulfur. When carbon dioxide reacts with water, we obtain carbonic acid. Then acid gases contribute impurities to natural gases. Sweetening process. So the gas sweetening process is a process that uh, reduces the content of sulfur in natural gas. Uh, an example of unit operating uh, of gas sweetening is the absorption stripping operation. So the, they commonly used uh, solvent for gas sweetening process are diethanol amine, monoethanol amine, and uh, methyl diethanol amine alternative solvent that can be used for this process are diisopropyl amine and diglycol amine so the reaction of gas sweetening is sour gas reacts with amines and forms lean amines and gas is removed the gas so typical operating range. So in this operating process, the absorber temperature is 35 to 50 Celsius, and the, and the pressure is 5 to 205 atm, and the stripper is, and for the uh, temperature is 115 to 126 celsius and the pressure is 1.4 to 1.7 atm in practice absorbers and strippers are interconnected with one another where one stripper unit serves several absorbers so theoretically operating pressure should be high temperature should be low to achieve maximum absorption rate so the advantages of it is minimize uh, stage requirements and decrease solvent flow rate and lowers equipment volume. In reality, operating pressure is at feed gas pressure, which is higher than ambient pressure. This is due to the high cost uh, compression and refrigeration uh, process. Uh, so now in absorber in this uh, process the sour gas is removed and the counter current reaction occurs when makeup water and lean amine enters the absorbers and H2S reacts with DEA or MEA amines. So the input chemicals for absorbers in this process is lean amine enters from the top uh, from the top of the column and makeup water also enters from the top of the column so output chemicals so rich amine which is transferred to a heat exchanger to increase the temperature and sweet uh, sweat gases which is our desired product stripper H2S and CO2 is uh, removed uh, like yeah, it's H2S and CO2 is removed from rich amine. Counter current reaction occurs when rich amine and reflex solution enters from the top of the stripper unit, and lean amine is recycled back to the absorber. Input chemical, uh, so rich amines and the lean amines react in a heat exchanger before rich amine uh, enters stripper unit. So output chemicals. H2S plus CO2 is flashed out of reflex drum 
Lean Amai, uh, Amai is sent back to the, into the stripper and all Lean Amai is recycled back into the absorber. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something from it. Bye.